Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, <laughs> Mirna. Congratulations. You're always on time. Punchal. You are not Salvadorian, right, Mirna? <laughs> you are from United States, I suppose, or, or from Switzerland. Uh -huh. Suiza, right? <laughs> always punctual, yes. Yes. Okay, let me check here some, some information. Let me close this. And I will open this thing. Okay. Okay. Good. Now let's start with the review, right? Hey, Jose, welcome. Welcome, Jose. Hey, listen, Jose. I, I like your, your, your headsets too, Jose. They are very nice too, Jose. Can you hear me, Jose? Your headsets are nice too, right? <laughs> okay. Now, Felipe. Welcome, Felipe. Hi. How's everything? Ready for the class, Felipe? Ready. Yes, right? Let's go. Okay. And Mirna, uh, well, Mirna doesn't like to, to show the camera, but I want to see that you are happy. <clears throat> ah, okay, nice, Mirna. <laughs> okay. Now, remember that uh, I like the 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 back part of your, your screen, right? Like Jose, you know, you have something looks very spectacular. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's start with the review, right? Let me share my, my screen. And oops, I need to open here something. Give me a second. Open, open. Oops. I need to open the the platform, give me a second. Okay. Internet is very fast today, nice. I like it. Okay. Now let's share the screen. Okay, now I have it here, yes. Okay. The last time we were learning about uh, conversation, right? Distance and measurement. So we're going to review the, the conversation to begin, right? Just to listen and... And to practice, right? Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They're talking about distance and measurements using the question word, how. So, uh, did you notice they use in the question how, right? Let's check it out, the, the screen over here. Let me see. Oops. Okay. Uh, no, I don't know what happened here. Okay, here, here I am. Now, check it out, please. Uh, how high are the mountains? How high are the mountains? Number one, we're talking about, listen, 
an information question, right? Remember you say, how high are the mountains? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I do. No, no, right? It's an information question. Eh? So, and we're using the, the information question word, how? De qué forma, de qué manera, right? How? Then we have the other one, how far? Notice the difference between how, how high and how far is the word high. High. And the other one is far. Distant, right? The, other, the, the first one is height. Altura, right? And the other one is far. Distant, right? Okay. So with this information, we're going to uh, begin with the... PowerPoint presentation for today. And question with how, right? This is the topic for today. The lesson objective. Okay, Mirna, can you help me reading the lesson objective, please? Yes, teacher. By the end of this section, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. Okie dokie. We learn to ask and answer this question, right? How far, how deep, how, how high, how, how hot. Etc. Etc. Right? Okay. And okay. the vocabulary for today: far, big, high, deep, long, hot, cold, and some. Uh, these are adjectives, right? Adjectives that they describe distance, size, uh, height. No altitude, right? Depth, that is, um, uh, how do you say Honduras? No, Honduras no is eh, profundidad, oh. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Long, that is extension. Hot and cold, that is temperature, right? Okay. Then these are uh, some measurements. Miles, kilometer, meter, feet, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. Okay, uh, how do you say Celsius in Spanish? How do you say Celsius in Spanish? Centígrado. Centígrado. Mm, no, that's centígrado. Celsius. Centigrade, right? Centigrade. Celsius. And, and how do you say Fahrenheit in Spanish? No? Okay, listen, no translation, because those are last names. Son right. apellidos, son apellidos, right? So the first <laughs> one is Andreas, Andreas Celsius. He's from Sweden. No. What is, uh, Suecia, right? I always confuse Suiza and Suecia. Switzerland, <laughs> Switzerland is Suiza, right? And Sweden is Suecia, uh-huh. So, Andrea Celsius invented a, a way to measure the temperature, right? And Daniel Fahrenheit, I believe it was from Norway. Era de Noruega o de Dinamarca. I don't remember, but it was a, a, a European country, right? He also invented a way to measure temperature, right? It's another story, but, you know. Okay, now, please, repeat after me. Ready? Far. Yes. Far. B big. High. Big. High. Deep. Deep. Long. Long. Hot. Hot. Cold. Cold. Miles. Miles. Kilometer. Kilometer. Meter. Meter. Feet. Feet. Celsius. 
Celsius. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I, I, I listen Rodrigo today. Rodrigo Rojas, welcome. Yes, teníamos, teacher. Teníamos días de no, de no escucharlo y de verlo, ¿verdad? Uh, Me alegra mucho tenerlo. I have tenerlo a problem in internet. Ah, okay, but now you, uh, you found the solution, right? Yes? Yes. Excellent, thank you. Yes. I, I like your participation, thank you. Now, any question about this class? Do you have any question about this? No, okay, so let's continue, right? Let's continue. Here we have, look, measurements. Okay, here we, the first one is uh, height. This is the noun, right? The noun, listen, pay attention. Height is noun, and high is the adjective. So, altura, right? Number one, look at this. This is height or high, width or wide. That is number two, ancho, right? Okay. Depth, that is deep. Uh, profundidad, number three, right? Profundidad, huh? And length, long. Long number four, right? <clears throat> Is this right? It's um, largo, largo, right? Largo, long, or length. That is, this is the noun, is the largura, right? Yes, or longitud. Mm, largo, largo, ah, okay. No, 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 ajá, largo. No, no, but as a noun, como, como nombre. Long. Ajá, es eh, largura y largo. <laughs> eh, Nos queda longitud. tarea ahí. Longitud, <laughs> right? Sí o no, longitud and long. Yes, long. because this is altura alto, anchura ancho, profundidad profundo, longitud largo. Ok. Now, inch. How do you say inch? In Spanish, number five, right? Inch. Pulgada. Pulgada, right? Pulgada. Yes. Feet. Pie. Pie, right? This is a measure. Yard. Yarda. Yarda, here, right? Look. Centimeter. 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 Easy, right? A meter or meter? Metro. Yes. And... Number 10, it shows about the distance, right? Look, the distance. This is uh, uh, one, one kilometer, I suppose. No, one mile, right? So the distance, the woman has to, to drive the car. It's 10, 10. Extension, yes. Mile, mile, look. Mia. And kilometer, mia. Kilometer. Kilometer. Yes, mia. Uh, you mean the, the refrigeradora? La refrigeradora es la suya? No. I'm kidding. Estoy bromeando. Okay. So, mía, right? Okay. And, uh, kilometer. Listen, the, how, how far is the, the mía, right? ¿Cuánto mide una mía? Mide 1.6 kilometer, right? 1.6 kilómetros. Es casi un poquito más de kilómetro y medio, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, in your car, for example, those who have cars, uh, you can see that it says KM and MIL, right? Millas y kilómetros. En el mío, es un Toyota, ¿verdad? No está tan nuevo, pero ahí está. La, el Toyota eh, mide el kilometraje, mide el kilómetro y luego las millas en el mismo, ¿ok? Because in the United States, they use miles, right? In El Salvador, we use kilometer, right? Okay, any question about this? Now, please, repeat after me, but turn it's your a... microphone. Yes, yes, come on. El, el two y el three no me quedaron muy claro. The number three. Uh -huh. Depth is uh, profundidad. For example, uh -huh. eh, creo que la... Todos ustedes están bien jóvenes para esta historia, pero 
eh, en una ocasión un helicóptero de unos estadounidenses se hundió en el lago de Ilopango. ¿Ok? Uh, Yo sí había escuchado la, la historia. Ya había escuchado. Bueno, yo, por cierto, iba a vacacionar al lugar donde se hundió ese helicóptero, ¿verdad? Eh, evening, se llama, por cierto, se llama Cujuapa. Cujuapa se llama el lugar. Eh, que es de la jurisdicción de Cojutepeque. Ok. Eh, y es, es, es so deep, de Ilopango Lake, y so deep, es tan profundo que vinieron buzos expertos de Estados Unidos y no lograron encontrar el helicóptero jamás. Ok, se fue hasta lo profundo del agua y no lo hallaron. Ok, so that's deep. Deep. Ok. Uh, in the ocean, for example, one of the deepest places is the, el estrecho de las Marianas. Right, that is in the Pacific. I guess it's in front of Mexico. I'm not sure, but that, that is very deep. Very deep, muy profundo, right? Okay. Una canción de los yes. How deep is your love? Uh -huh. I met her eyes in the morning sun. Ok, nice. You like music, eh? Ok, so deep. Good. Any other question? ¿Cuál era la otra que no tenía clara? Um, uh, number two. Number two. Uh, wide. O oh, wide. That is uh, ancho. Ancho, right? Ah, okay. uh, uh, some people say that the If you are very uh, heavy, right? Si estamos un poquito gordito, entonces uno es, está bien ancho, right? It's wide, wide, it's anchura. ¿Ok? Now repeat y la... Mm, ¿Number? Y la, y la... ¿Cómo sería? La pronunciación. Ah, ok. So, listen, please. High, high. Wide, wide. Oh. Depth, deep. Length, Long, inch, feet, yard, centimeter, or centimeter, meter, or meter, distance, mile, kilometer, or kilometer. Right? Now repeat after me, please. Height. High. High. Turn your microphone off. Right? Vamos a apagar los micrófonos. Para... Okay, thank you, thank you. Wide. Wide. Depth, deep. Length, long. Inch, feet, yard, centimeter, centimeter. Meter, meter. Distance, mile, kilometer, kilometer. Okay. Now, any other question? Those are the measurements, right? <laughs> okay. Now, let's go to question with how. The class of today, right? Now, how... Plus adjective, plus the verb to be, plus the complement. Pay attention, please, to the structure. How far is Santana from San Miguel? By the way, do you know the distance? I don't know. Like about what? 108 kilometers. Thank you, Alan. Excuse me. <laughs> nice. 108 kilometers, right? Nice. Okay, so how the adjective far... The verb to be, because it's singular, right? Is, and the complement Santana from San Miguel, right? Distance. Now, this is size, size, tamaño, right? How big is Morazan? Hmm? How big do you think? It's very big, right? Okay. Yes. Who is from Morazan really in the group? Is anybody from Morazan? No. Okay, don't worry. How deep is Ilopango Lake? Yes. Remember, it's the crater of a volcano, right? Recuérdense que es el cráter de, una, de un volcán. It's really deep. Okay. So how deep is Ilopango Lake? I don't know, but I suppose it's really deep. How long is the Lempa River? The extension, right? 
how long is the Lempa River? Is the the major, the principal, the main river in El Salvador, right? Okay, how hot is La Unión? Hmm? Very hot, I imagine, the temperature, right? And how cold is El Pital? Have you ever visited El Pital? Yes? No. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, I... It's I very went. cold. It's very cold, I right? Like, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you didn't like it, Alan. <laughs> no. It's, it's too cold, Not right? <laughs> really it's cold. cold. It's pretty cold. You, you put a, a three sweaters, right? A jacket. Yeah, that, that, and, weather, that weather make me six. And make three me cobijas. Six. Three cobijas, yeah. Alan. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah. So now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Microphones off, please. Microphones off. How far is Santana from San Miguel? How big is Morazan? How deep is Ilopango Lake? How long is the Lempa River? How hot is La Unión? How cold is El Pital? Okay, now I want you to give me some example, right? Not only the teacher, but you have to work. Uh, Angel, can you give me one similar example, please? You can talk about, I don't know, uh, Ouija, Lake, uh, uh, Cojutepeque, Hiboa uh, River, etc., etc., right? Can you give me a similar example, okay. Angel? Okay. How cold is Los Naranjos? Okay. In Santa Ana City. Santa Ana, Los Naranjos. I want to know Los Naranjos. They say it's a beautiful la place. Ruta de la, la ruta de las flores. La ruta de las flores. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. After the the uh, quarantine, after the quarantine, we are going to visit right the, this place. Thank you, Angel. Okay. Now, uh, Felipe, can you give me one example? Um, how high? Is the Ilamatepec volcano? Okay. Ilamatepec, right? Nice. Now, uh, Gloria? Por ahí quedó un eh, micrófono encendido, please help me. Ajá, Gloria. Can I can say how, how hot is the coffee? Yes. Uh, okay. Come on, say. <laughs> how hot? Is the coffee. Okay. Nice, Gloria. <laughs> In your case, how do you like your coffee? Very hot or cold, Gloria? Very hot, teacher. Very hot. Okay, me too. But some <laughs> people say that when, when you drink coffee, you cannot sleep, right? Ah, uh, I don't. Alguna I gente don't cuando, have this problem. <laughs> alguna gente cuando toma café no puede dormir, right? A mí me pasa lo opuesto. Cuando estoy dormido no puedo tomar café. Ok. Now, another example, please. Eh, let me see. José Magaña. I think that no one can drink coffee when he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> ok, continue, please. José Magaña, help me, please. Another example, please. Um, what? How far, how cold, deep? Cold, hot, okay. long? How, whatever. You tell me. Any example, right? Uh, how long is the 
carretera Panamericana okay. en El Salvador. Nice, nice. Very good, right? And the Pan American Road comes from uh, United States, Mexico, Central America, and South America, right? Okay, it's very long, very long. In El Salvador, it's very short, but in all America, it's really big, right? It's really long, I'm sorry, really long. Okay, Jose Perez, your example? Uh, okay, uh... How big is New York City? Okay, nice. The Big Apple. Thank you. And Yvette, your example, Yvette? How cold is tonight? How cold is, sorry, tonight? Tonight, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, well, in my house here in, in Colonia Sacamil, it's, it's cool, it's cool, right? It's cool, right? How about your house, Yvette? Sorry? In my house. I am living in Ayacucho, Ah, so we're neighbors, we're neighbor, right? So we have the same weather. Tenemos el mismo clima, the same weather, right? Yes. Because it was raining here in Mexicanos, it was raining and now it's cool. It's not hot, it's not cool. cold, it's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. Ah. It's, uh -huh, it's cool. It's agreeable, agradable. It's, okay? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mirna, please. Yes, teacher. Your example. How deep is Coatepeca Lake? Okay. Good example. Good example, right? And to finish, Mr. Rojas, your example, please. Rodrigo, can you help me? Can you help me with a, an example? Okay. Uh, no sé qué nos pasó con Rodrigo. Vamos a ver. Rodrigo, can you hear me? Okay. I will look for uh, someone who didn't participate. Alan? Okay, Alan, please. Yes, yeah, teacher. Your example. How hard you try to learn English? Oh, nice. I like it. And I imagine very hard, right? Yeah. It's, it's not I easy. try every day. Okay. It's thank not you. easy, but it's, 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 the, it's the run to successful. <laughs> okay. You're totally right. And who's missing? Karen, right? Karen, um, help me, Karen. I know Oscar. We miss hey, Oscar too. Yes. Come on. Come on, Karen. Oh. How hard are you, Sulutan Beach? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you from Sulutan, Karen? Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Blanquita, Blanca Lemus. Hello, Blanca. Welcome. Hola. Hello. Okay. Tell me one example, please, Blanca. Um, how cold is the Pila Chilotenango? Oh, Las Pilas, I know. This is a very nice place. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oscar, please, your example. How big is San Miguel? Excellent. Danny, Danny Sandoval, please. Yes, Hello, teacher. Your example, please. How far, how big, how deep, how long, how hot, how mm -hmm. cold. Come on, give me one example. Um, how cold is um, Santa Ana City? Okay, nice. Now, Roxana Mendez. How cold is Sonsonate? Nice, good example, right? Janira Garcia. Yes, teacher. How deep is the Pacific Ocean? Oh, nice. Good example. Right? And Lisette Ramirez. Mm, how difficult is the exam? The exam. <laughs> very easy. Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's missing? Uh, Patricia. Patricia Morales, right? 
Pati? Present. Okay. Eh, Give me one example, please. How cool is los planes de renderos? Okay. Los planes de renderos. Los planes de renderos, <laughs> yes. I hope they can open after the uh, uh, after the, the, the quarantine, right? Okay. Right. Eh, Brenda Álvarez, right? Solo Brenda me hace falta ya, creo. Yes. Brenda, please. I didn't ask you, right, Brenda? No, no le había preguntado, ¿verdad, Brenda? Hello? Brenda? No está. No está. No estoy, right? Ok, don't worry. Y Rodrigo, ya no lo encontré a Rodrigo. Ok. ¿Rodrigo? No, ok. Anyway, don't worry. It's participation. Now, please. Now... Uh, we're going to go to the to the platform. And let me see. Let's share it. Here, right? Okay. Question with how. Here we go. Here we go. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okie dokie, so that's it, right? That is the, the video for today. And um, we are going to practice. Just give me a sec. Okay, give me a second. I will rewind the video, but oh, here. Here.
Okay. So we're going to do something, right? Uh, we're going to practice pronunciation and later I will ask some of you to ask other students the same question, right? So repeat after me, please. How far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is the New Zealand for Australia? Australia. Australia. Okay, thank you. Now, please turn off your microphone, please. Turn off, turn off, thank you. Now, it's about 2,000 kilometers. One thousand two hundred miles. How big is Singapore? It's six hundred four forty eight square kilometers. Six hundred forty eight square kilometers. Two hundred fifty square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high. 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long. Three thousand seven hundred ten miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius. 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now please, you are going to make the questions. Alan, you make the question to Oscar, please. Question number one. New Zealand, right? Just read. And Oscar, answer okay. the question. Alan to Oscar. New okay, how far is New Zealand from, from Australia? It is about 2,000 kilometers. Kilom kilometers. Kilometers? Kilo kilometers. 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 Mm -hmm. kilometers. Continue, Oscar, continue. 1,000? 1,200 1, miles. 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 Thank you. Miles. No, no problem. Miles. Don't worry. Miles. Oscar, don't miles. say sorry. Never say I'm sorry, right? We're learning. Don't worry. Yeah, Even go I ahead. Make mistakes. Even I made mistakes. Believe me. <laughs> Okay, please. Angel Martinez, you make the question to Patricia Morales. Patricia, are you there? Oh, yes. Yes, okay, now, please, Angel, make the question number two, Singapore. Yo pregunto. No, no, Angel makes the question. Angel. Okay. How big is Singapore? It's a. Uh, How is Singapore? It's a uh, sixty hundred for eight forty eight square kilometers, uh, two hundred fifty square miles. Miles, right? Miles. Miles, miles. Thank you very much. Miles. Thank you. No problem. No, don't say perdón, please. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it. Right? Now. Blanca, please, you made the question to Danny Sandoval. Blanca to Danny. Okay. Mount Cook, Mount Cook. Uh -huh. uh, how, how high is Mount Cook? 
It's three thousand seven hundred four four meters high. Forty, forty, forty. Forty meters high. Um. Eleven thousand. No, twelve, twelve, twelve. Twelve. Two thousand fifty. Fit. No, no. Twelve thousand two hundred. <laughs> two hundred fifty. Okay. Fit. Fit. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Next question. Uh, it's Brenda. You make the question to uh, Yanira. Brenda to Yanira. Grand Canyon, right? Grand Canyon. How deep is the Grand Canyon? Yanira? Yes, teacher. Okay, how deep is the Grand Canyon, say? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's about it's about one thousand nine hundred meters deep. Six thousand two hundred fifty feet. Congratulations. Now, next one, please. Uh, Felipe, you make the question to Roxana. How long is the Mississippi River? Ah, uh, Roxana. Roxana. Hola. <laughs> Hello, right. Now, uh, Felipe is uh, Felipe is asking you how how long is the Mississippi River? Please answer the question. It's about um, five to sound nine hundred seventy kilometers long, um, three three to sound seven seven hundred ten seven. ¿Cómo se dice el número? <laughs> 710, 710. 710 miles. miles. Miles, correct. I have a question for you, Roxana, from my daughter, from my daughter, because she's reading some books, and the writer of the books, her name is Roxana Mendez. So my daughter says, mi hija le manda preguntar, if you are, if you are a writer, <laughs> si usted también es escritora. <laughs> No. No, no, it's a coincidence, right? No, it's... <laughs> yeah, but there, there is a famous writer, right? Una famosa escritora, right? Ah, oh. muy bien, muy bien. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Now, let me see. Uh, Gloria Palma, you make the question to uh, Rodrigo. Ah, no, Rodrigo is, is out, right? Ro Rodrigo, Rodrigo se salió, creo. Okay. So, to Mirna. Gloria to Mirna, right? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. How how long is the Mississippi River? No, 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 no. It's a uh, uh, how ah, hot. The, how the hot. next. Mm -hmm. How hot is Oakland in the summer? It it gets up to about twenty three degrees Celsius and seventy seventy four. Degree Fahrenheit. Okay, good pronunciation, Fahrenheit. Nice. Okay, now please, Iris Palacio to Yvette Siliestar. Yvette, the last question, right? Okay. How cold is in the winter? Is it, is it, is it, is it in the winter? Uh -huh. Please answer. It Yvette. goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And now we're going to invent, right? Uh, Jose Magaña, you made the question to Karen. 
to Karen, right? But you invent the question, Jose. Jose Magaña, you invent the question. Usted no va a inventar la pregunta, right? Okay. How big is your house? Oh, nice. <laughs> and Karen, you, you invent, right? Uh, um, it's uh, 200 meters. meters. Mm -hmm. Square meter, right? Sí. Square. Uh, tendría que ser cuadrado porque si no. <laughs> ah, sí. Yes. Oh, no sé. Yes. Do you have a, you have a big house, Karen? Oh? You have a big house. No. Nice. No. no, so so, so so. No. <laughs> okay, now I will make the question to Jose, Jose Perez. Ready, Jose? How tall are you, Jose? I don't know, teacher, maybe maybe 1.70. Okay, that's right. So you are taller than me because I am 165. So oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not very tall, but I am not very chaparro either. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, now we're going to practice the question we have here. And after that, I'm sorry, we're going to check, excuse me, the final test, right? The final yes, test. Sir. Yes, yes, question. How do you say in the promedio? How do you say? In the promedio. Uh, the average. Oh, the average. The average. Average, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, listen to the questions. Wait a minute. Answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How big is your country? Okay, volunteers. Volunteers. Well, Honduras took some of the country, right? But we still have some space, eh? Okay, even they, they took the, the, the rabbit, the Conejo Island, right? But yes, we, we have a, a, some, some space to leave, right? So volunteers, I repeat the question. Listen, I repeat the question. Answer, here we go. How big is your country? How big is El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? It's about 21 kilometers. No. no, I guess a little bit. I don't right? have. <laughs> it's un poquito más. <laughs> it's yes. about 21,000. Ah, 21,000. <laughs> okay, good. 21,000 and something, right? And something. 8,124 square miles. Okay, okay. Good information, right? Okay, next question. How tall are you? How tall are you? I made a question to Jose, but another volunteer? How tall are you? Volunteers? Come on, volunteers. You can say, I am one I am, meter. Uh -huh. Yes? I am uh, one meter. For 48 centimeters. <laughs> okay, okay. No comment there, right? <laughs> okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And the last question. Which one is the longest river in your country? Which is the longest river in El Salvador? Rio Grande River. Sorry? No, no, no. Excuse me. It's Rio Olempa River. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a new river, right, Alan? <laughs> okay, nice. Lempa River. Thank you never you, heard Alan. about Rio Grande, you know? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, now. How long is it? How long is excuse the Lempa me. River? How long is the Lempa River? I don't have that information. But I guess it's like, I don't know how many. It's but, about uh -huh. a story. 400, no, 422 kilometers long. My goodness, Felipe. You are a whiz. A wizard, right? A wizard is someone who, who knows a lot, right? Okay, that's it, right? Now we have 10 minutes to go to the exercise that are difficult for you, right? Uh, I, I'm sorry for the, for the picture here, but 
Okay, let me see. And let's go to the section number five, right? You asked for it. Ustedes lo pidieron, right? Listen to the conversation. So in this case, I guess it's easy. You just listen to the conversations and answer, right? It's not the big problem. The only thing is that you have to listen, right? Listen and answer. Here we have the options. Okay, look. You only click and that's it, right? Okay, now. We are going to make this next week also, right? También vamos a hacer esto la otra semana. So, but with more details. Now it's only just the, the proof, right? Solo la prueba. Solo la, uh, probar el examen, okay? Now, put the words in the correct order to make sentences, right? Okay. Uh, here, we have two verbs, right? Normally, when you have two verbs, uh, one verb is the main verb, and the other one is an infinitive or a gerund. Listen, an infinitive or a gerund, right? For example, what in this case, we have two options. In number one, what do you plan doing or what do you plan to do? Two options, right? And we finish with an expression of time tonight. So in this case, we are going to use the preposition to. So one of these verbs is infinity, right? Uno de estos dos verbos está en infinitivo. ¿Ah? No le voy a decir cuál porque entonces, <laughs> ok, le estaría suavizando el trabajo. Tenemos que hacerlo, ok. Next one. The same, right? One of these verbs is in infinity. Uno es el principal y otro, el otro el infinitivo. Like you say, for example, I like to eat pupusas. Like is the main verb and to eat is the infinity, right? Okay. Let's continue. The same. Go to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like and have, right? Hope and do. Again, one verb in the base form and the other one is in infinity, right? And here, love and travel. I travel to love or I love to travel? I don't know. You tell me, right? Is there a trick here? ¿Había alguna cascarita aquí? ¿Algún punto o alguna mayúscula que, que no estaba bien puesta? ¿Questions? Ok. Let's continue, right? Circle the correct word. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this. Hay muchos árboles bellos en este mar, bosque o cascada, right? So you, you only choose the correct one. It's a question of, of knowledge, right? It's not grammar, it's just to know, right? Yes, only one option. And the second part, okay, please tell Marie or please to tell Marie. Okay, normally we have uh, some verbs that are common when you make a person to tell another person some information, right? Cuando yo quiero decirle a alguien que vaya con el chambre, perdón, a otra persona y le cuente algo. Decirle a mi mamá que esta noche no va a llegar, ¿verdad? Que hoy es viernes. <laughs> ok, o oh, uh, decirle a María que, que prepare la cena, no sé. <laughs> ok, etcétera, etcétera. So, you mainly use to verb. Tell and ask. Tell and ask. Right? Uh, normally, when you use tell and ask, uh, ah, sorry, excuse me, there is another verb. Hay un verbo que no aparece aquí, es say, say. Okay. Uh, but in the case of tell and ask, uh, you use an object. Siempre que vamos a usar tell and ask, usamos un objeto. Dile a María, dile a Juan, pregúntale a Pedro, pregúntale a María, right? We always say that. Okay? 
And listen to me, aquí le estoy dando la respuesta a la 1. Is not in infinity. Is not in infinity, right? After, uh, I mean, tell and ask are not in infinity, okay? Good. No me a decir que yo les dije, eh? I didn't make it. Good. Now, would you ask Bill, bring or to bring the concert to tickets tonight? Hmm? Could you tell or could you ask Dana that the movie starts at 8.15? Listen that when I use ask, I'm, I mean, I'm making a question, right? And when I say tell, I only pass information, okay? Like in Spanish, decirle a alguien que hoy llovió. Preguntarle a alguien si, yo, si llovió ahora. ¿Llovió o no llovió? Preguntarle. Okay, so tell is pass the information. And ask is make a question. Okay? Ahí también ya les di la respuesta de la tres. Eh? Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Complete the sentences, right? Oh, this is easy. What? And then we use the auxiliary, right? Uh, and then the answer is would. Will, I, that means I would, or I'll, that means I will. Mm -hmm. So, you can say, what would you like to eat? What will you like to eat? So, what of these two options are the most appropriate? And then it says, I will eat the fried chicken, or I'd eat, right? Or I, I'd like to eat the fried chicken, please. So listen, will is like a possibility that something happen or doesn't happen. And would is that the desire, el deseo, or la gana, de hacer, comer, beber, correr, etc., etc., right? So, will is the possibility, and would is, is similar to say want, I want, okay? Uh, of course, we're going to see this next week. Lo vamos a ver en detalle la otra semana, pero se lo adelanto aquí, okay? And the same here, right? Lo mismo vamos a usar aquí, o will o would. Aquí vamos a usar contractions. I'd or I'll. Ok. Now. The ladies and gentlemen. The letter E. Aquí terminamos. Este es el que nos ha dado, le ha dado problemas a todos los chicos que se han adelantado y que los felicito que se han adelantado. Está bien. Ya para el viernes ya tener todo listo. Ya no vamos a deber nada, ¿verdad? De la plataforma. So, listen to me. Complete the request. What is a request? A request is a petition. Es cuando le, uno pide algo o le piden algo a uno, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Sea un favor, sea algo que está pidiendo. Now, in this case, the test on, on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Aquí está la información. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es, please tell, ¿a quién le vamos a decir? A Ken. To Ken. A Ken. ¿Y qué le vamos a decir? Que el test es en jueves a la 1 p.m. ¿Ok? After the verb tell, we have immediately the object, right? No hay nada entre tell y el objeto. Tell ángel. Entonces, tell tu ángel. No. Tell ángel. Tell ángel. No, va directo el objeto ahí. En este caso sería tell Ken. Y ahí lo demás. No les puedo decir porque ya se daría la respuesta. Ok. Meet me after class today. Would you ask? Aquí ya es pregunta, ¿verdad? Would you ask? Y aquí está también. Igual que tell. Inmediatamente después del verbo va el sujeto. Después de ask, vamos a usar Alex. Would you ask Alex? Y... Uh, Aquí, como es un verbo, vamos a usar el infinitivo. To, to meet, ahí sigue lo demás. Ya no le voy a decir, ¿verdad? 
¿Ok? En el caso de ask, como estamos preguntando información, va el objeto y después va un infinitivo. ¿Ok? Y aquí está igual, ¿verdad? Usamos that. Y él luego ponemos toda la información que está aquí. Primero el objeto. Perdón. Yes, yes, come on. Tell me, Gloria. Usted en A2 dice el infinitivo, pero mm. se supone vamos a usar lo que está dando la, 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 la oración y ahí no Ajá. tiene eh, para ponerle Ajá, pero, el infinitivo. Pero, ¿cómo le diría? Este, tenemos que ponerlo porque, porque entonces no tendría lógica la oración. ¿verdad? Entonces alteraría lo que está poniendo de, déjeme, ahí. Déjeme el, ver, déjeme ver, que por aquí este, mandé unos comentarios. Eh, es que este ejercicio lo, lo resolvimos con, con eh, tres compañeritos suyos, no me recuerdo los nombres, perdón. <risa> ok, con, como tengo otro grupo, ¿verdad? Este, bueno, pero uh, no les estoy diciendo la respuesta, que ¿cómo se? Pero... Uh, es que no, no se trata de, de que nos dé no, la no, respuesta. No, 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 yo sé, yo sé, yo sé, pero, pero lo que les quiero decir es eh, que elementos van a usar, esa es la palabra, esa sería la palabra, no, no decirles exactamente eh, lo, la respuesta, pero eh, en este caso sería would you ask Alex y aquí no podemos poner eh, el verbo así pelón, tenemos que ponerle una estructura y en este caso tendría que ser el infinitivo, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, lo vamos a intentar esta noche si, o mañana ¿verdad? Aunque todavía tenemos toda la, para la otra semana aún, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a probar, Gloria. ¿Qué le parece? Especialmente este dos puntos. Ok. Y pone el infinitivo a ver qué le sale. Si no, pone okay. la forma regular. Y me dice, para yo decirle a todo, ¿verdad? Pero hasta donde yo tengo entendido, después, ok, uh, del objeto, tenemos que usar el, el, la preposición to. Y luego la información que está acá, porque aquí está un verbo, mire, meet. ¿Ok? Sí, y es Ajá. más, usted, sí, como muchas conversaciones en el chat, usted ponía también y en la, en, en la plataforma dice, pone en paréntesis that. Ah, ok. Eh, correcto, yo he intentado sí, también con that. Eh, aquí y, te, en y sale. ¿Sale bien o sale mal, Gloria? Sale mal. Sale mal, o oh, si le pone that. Ok, pero el, el dat es opcional. Ok, puede, por ejemplo, puede decir, please tell, eh, vamos a cambiar el nombre, <ríe> please tell Juancito that the test, bla, bla, bla. O please uh -huh. tell Juancito the test. Ok, ahí sí hay una opción, ahí se puede poner that, ¿verdad? Pero si le sale mal con that, entonces pues no lo pongamos, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Y en este sí, aquí sí yo les estoy recomendando usar el infinitivo. Después del objeto va la preposición to, cuando usamos ask. ¿Ok? Si estoy equivocado, sí. pues me van a dar un jalón de orejas en la oficina. Sí, pero, pero yo ya intenté así, ya le puse el to y tampoco. Tampoco funciona. No. Vaya, en, este, que no me acuerdo con quién lo... lo ok, no, no fue con usted, Vara Gloria. No vimos estos no, puntos con usted, Gloria. No, ok. No. Bueno, solo entonces vamos a dejar esto porque ya, ya nos pasamos de la hora. Eh, hágame este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Y óigame bien cuál es la información. Después de Alex va la preposición to. Si no le sale así, Gloria, me manda un mensaje y vemos en dónde está el, el error, ¿verdad? Pero... Les voy a suplicar que siempre me pongan eh, de dónde sacan eh, la información, ¿verdad? Porque a veces este, yo me pierdo un poquito en las cinco secciones y tengo que andar buscando, ¿verdad? Así es que, por favor. Y eh, creo que aquí sería la explicación del uso del ask y el tell, ¿verdad? Uno es información y el otro es una sí. petición, ¿ok? Aún hay tiempo, aún hay tiempo. Todavía tenemos hasta, inclusive voy a explicar esto el jueves de la otra semana. Ok. So, no more questions. No more questions. 
Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. God bless you.